What's up everybody, Dan from Headwaters Kayak, and I'm in Boise, Idaho, at the legendary Idaho River Sports. This place has been in business for like 35 years, and they're our newest dealer. And I'm excited to give you guys a shop tour. I'm gonna show you their rental concession. I'm gonna show you their whitewater park. This place is unreal, let's check it out. COVID protocol, obviously. Got the recreational kayaks, fishing kayaks. Obviously, this is what we're helping them out with the feel free sea streams, three waters. This is Danny. Hey guys, how's it he, work, he works here at the shop. He's been uh, inventorying the boats we just brought in. Hobie dealers. So, if you guys are looking at Hobie fishing kayaks, they've got those here, as well as Hobie paddle kayaks and all the hard to find Hobie accessories. Look at that wall. Everything you need. It's like an NRS superstore, all their different wetsuits, all their boots. Looks like walking into an NRS booth at like Paddle Sports Retailer. The cool thing about this shop, and so many shops have lost this, is that they do all the different forms of paddling. They've got whitewater kayaks, they've got crossover kayaks, they've got touring kayaks. So not like a, like a one trick pony shop, this is a true Paddle Sports Pro shop. No matter what kind of paddling you want to get into, if you're in Idaho, this is definitely the place to come. All the different dry bags, pumps, care and repair materials. Sometimes when you go into a shop that's been around for 20, 30, or like Stan and Joe's case, I think 35 years, there's just a depth of knowledge that comes from all that experience and doing the sport for that long. And so they're gonna have things, the repair pieces, uh, care materials, all the things that you wouldn't necessarily think about, but these guys know because they're pros and they've been doing it. I love a store that's got a setup like this. All the pieces and parts that you don't even know that you'll need, but eventually you'll probably break or you'll want a clip or you'll want to Gippy. I had one of these at our shop when I had it and uh, it was like one of my favorite things because somebody could come in and say, hey, I got this old kayak and I broke a, I broke one of these and we always had it in stock. You can see they really specialize in inflatable kayaks. They've got this one here, uh, this one up here. They're both made by Air Inflatables, which is right up the street in Meridian, Idaho. And if you're wanting to get into floating rivers, especially in this region, there's really no better way to do it than in an inflatable. Got the new NRS Star Inflatables. This is their fishing kayak. This thing's gonna be crazy stable. Oh, it's got these big pontoon edges. It's got the drop stip floor like you'd find on a traditional inflatable set. Great for stand-up casting. You can use it as a kayak. You can use it as a paddleboard. I really like the looks of that one. I've yet to paddle it though. Maybe I can uh, ask these guys to borrow it and demo it. The one thing that's rad about the store is they're right on the Boise Whitewater Park. It's right up the street. So they actually have a bunch of like river skate or river surfboards in stock that you can check out from bad fish stuff. They also have the inflatable versions over here. If it wasn't so dang cold, I'd go out there and try it out today, but I don't feel like being that cold. What's going on back here? Most shops have shop dog. I've seen shop dogs, I've seen shop cats. My first time ever seeing a shop rabbit though. What's up, bud, man? I don't know, do you bite? I don't know. So just to give you guys a little visual representation of where we're at here, this is the kayak shop where we're hanging out in. Here's a rental facility, parking, and this is our launch beach. So you have all this access to this pond right here for flat water paddling. You can see the whitewater park and the standing wave right here for whitewater. And then this little deal connects and then goes into, I think two other ponds that you can paddle. This is the old original Idaho Paddle Sports right here in Outside Magazine. Pretty cool, where to live, 10 towns that have it all. And he said, hey, I've got an opportunity to do a cover on Outside Magazine. Do you mind if I use your storefront? And uh, and we said, sure. So we kind of staged everything out there and, and uh, he took numerous pictures and, and this one showed up. Look at this. Plus, Le Mans chance in the Tour de France. And do energy bars and energy drinks really work? That's so classic. Well, we know the answer to that. Yes, Lamont crushed it. <laughs> and is this you here? Or who's this? Uh, that, yeah, that's me. What year is that, you think? Perception Matrix. Uh, that's uh, that's got to be like 90, 92. Yeah, that sounds about right. I got into it in 94, and I think I had the same life jacket and same helmet with the little, with the little bill on it. Remember the salamander bill? <laughs> and we still sell those. Dude, that's awesome. So no shop visit is complete without going for a paddle. Time to go boat. So the coolest thing about this shop is, look, that's the back door of Idaho River Sports. And what we're going to do is we're going to walk about 50 feet, and then boom, there's the water. Pretty incredible setup. This is Casey. He's the store manager up here. He got dubbed with the task of taking me paddling. I tell you what, Casey, 
If it wasn't for the like that ice right there, people wouldn't know that it's like 30 degrees out. It's I know, it's a beautiful day out today. <laughs> Good old Boise, Idaho, you can't really beat it. Little ice, who cares? <laughs> So Boise seems to be like an up and coming spot. And I know one of the things that they've really done for outdoor recreation is kind of created this complex where we're hanging out. What can you, what can you tell me about it? So this pond that we're on right now, Quinn's Pond, it's been here a long time. And those of you that have been here know. But years ago, Simplots came in and really developed this area. So we've got Quinn's Pond and then they put in the other ponds. And in process of doing that, Idaho River Sports was able to move in before the, the park was put in was able to move here, be able to utilize these ponds for demos, rentals, you name it, we got it. And then once the park was being uh, built, they were also putting in the Whitewater Park. So right here along the banks of the Boise River, we've got that surfing capability as well. You know, we're celebrating our 35th year anniversary of Idaho River Sports, and what an awesome, awesome place to be able to celebrate that. So is there more downstream from here? There is, that just went in two years ago. All right, you guys, that's a wrap from us here in Idaho. Thanks for hanging out. If you're anywhere in the area, go by and see these guys. You'll be happy you did. Idaho River Sports right here in Boise. Until next time, Dan wishing you happy paddling. So later on that same day, I decided to go for a bike ride and watch the sunset on the river. And I was just blown away by how gorgeous Boise is and how accessible it is. If you're into walking, biking, running, I saw roller skaters, fishermen, such an incredible spot if you love the outdoors. Woke up to a frigid morning here in Idaho. Check this thing out. You got that layer of frost on my window. Beautiful out there. Sun's gonna come out, it's gonna be a gorgeous morning.